there are very few boats I've seen at boat show that cause such a stir as this one. We're at the Dusseldorf boat show and on the weekend, the opening weekend of the show, there was a constant queue to get on board this, the new Bavaria C42. People were queuing for an hour, an hour and a half to get on board and the German Yard have done a very, very nice job with this. I can see why people were itching to see it. It's both a clever design and it's a clever production, clever engineering and they've kept the price tag. Very tempting. It's the cheapest in class. And it also looks like it should perform and it's finished well as well. So you have a self-tacking jib, easy to manage sail plan, but plenty of sail area. So you've got the performance there, should you want it. I and mean, you'll have a look at the bit of the hull shape from here. See the big port lights and the fullness in the bow and then how that chine just above the boot top there runs all the way aft and you, I can see, you can't really see it very well on the stand here because it's tucked right up against the steps but very beamy and powerful looking aft sections there. Kazuti design offered in two versions a holiday and a style so a charter and an owner's version and this one the owner's version just looking at the cockpit here you can have another set of winches for German sheeting coach roof winches as well fairly big cockpit nothing amazing about or different about the cockpit layout but you'll probably notice the space the amount of beam here and it's a powerful hole shot it's the first chined boat the Bavaria has done and Kazuti yacht design say so the VPP looks really promising so they're hoping for big things in terms of performance but look at this for an affordable entry-level 40-foot yacht I think Bavaria have done a really nice job in terms of design and finishing, making it very inviting, light, bright and modern in here. By cheapest in the range, or it, against its competitors, I'm talking about starting price of 157,900 euros ex bat. Whereas typically the others are start at 160, well, 160, 170. It's available as a two cabin, one heads format. Like, or like this one with three cabins and one heads or three and two heads. Moving forward you can see the generous size of the saloon, the sofa berth to port, linking to a little nav station area as well. And the thing to point out here is they wanted to make it easy for eight people to be able to sit properly around the table. So you can see how this table folds right the way out onto this side and it's really nice materials, safe materials. This white owl piece being finished well, nice and inviting, but a good size saloon for entertaining. And moving forward until you see what modern hull shape does for you here. Look at the beam in the forward ends, which means you get this gigantic forward berth. Obviously you would lose this stowage area here if you wanted to have an ensuite for this cabin, so a second heads here as it is. Plenty of stowage, same both sides. A few of these sharp corners are going to be addressed in production, I understand. Moderate size galley in L shaped format and then two big aft cabins. Again, big wardrobe, plenty of natural light and light in there. Loads of headroom. And this with a single heads option, shower compartment and heads. And then the companionway steps lift for 
engine access and you can see two side panels remove as well.